everyone. Good morning. We are continuing on with getting into the holiday spirit around here. This is the week we're celebrating trees and all of the different ways we can go about creating them because the Christmas tree shape and design is just a really simple one to play off of creatively and there's some great projects you can do together as a family. You can use all kinds of different materials. So it's a really uh, fun, easy one for people to grab onto. And today uh, we're getting a little scrappy with our tree designs. Uh, I went down to the wood pile, grabbed some scraps, uh, also working with a few leftovers. And one of the trees that we love to create around here, and I've done lots of workshops on them, and it is just so cool to see all of the different looks and designs you can get with this simple uh, slat tree. And these can be made out of your wood scraps. This one here, I've got some uh, framing. I had a whole bunch of scraps of framing pieces that I've cut down. Um, if you had some paint stir sticks, you could use those to build your tree out of. Um, I know I said I was not gonna use nature today, but I <laughs> guess I can't avoid it. This one here is made out of um, some pieces of driftwood. That creates an interesting looking tree. And uh, each one of these little slats is kind of its own canvas. Um, um, so you can come at it with your paints, you can glue papers, uh, you can uh, drill through it, you can add some lights. There's just so many different looks and how you assemble it, the different sizes, the materials that you're using. This tree here um, is just kind of a simple, natural looking tree. You can kind of get that Scandinavian uh, minimalist <laughs> look by leaving things natural. I've got straight cuts on the end of this one. This one here, we did some 45 degree cuts, which changes the look, kind of finishes off the edges a little bit. Uh, nicer and then uh, to attach these uh, all you do is you need a support a back support so another scrap of wood uh, garden stakes you can get a whole bundle of these um, these work nicely uh, and then cut those tips off and then just use some wood glue and some nails or some screws to secure that into place you could also add some wire some rope around there that's another decorative touch but these are a lot of fun to create different shapes different sizes have everyone in the family do one and then put them all together on the wall. This is one Berkeley did last year. Lots of fun. Uh, she loves to hang this one in her room. So a uh, good one to get the kids involved in, see what they come up with, how they decorate the different slats. Uh, and then those garden stakes that I said make great supports for the backside and we cut the tips off. Well, save all of those tips because as you can see, Christmas trees. So you have some small little uh, wooden options there that you can do. Some other little pieces of wall art. Uh, you can have, uh, this is a nice little forest we put together with all of those tips. Just another way to really um, make use out of everything that you have and getting all kinds of mileage out of things. It just feels uh, differently when you create pieces uh, and are kind of resourceful with the materials that you're using. Plus you get some really fun, interesting looks. This scrap here is, these are the end cuts off of when you're putting up trusses and things. Um, just some odd little triangular shapes and we saved these back to use um, a while back we shared uh, doing the building blocks and they make great mountains uh, for kids to drive their cars up well they also make for some festive uh, Christmas tree displays as well so you can paint the fronts of them uh, give them all kinds of fun looks and then you could have everybody in the family do a variety of these and then have them uh, set out on a tabletop run just some lights through it and you've got a really sweet uh, easy to create display as well they're also reversible so you can do uh, one paint treatment on one side and then if you get bored with that you can flip them around and do another one but these two a lot of fun you're making good use out of that scrap you get an interesting display you could change it up each year uh, this one here this was done on a canvas and for this Christmas tree variety these are the PVC pipe that if you take your PVC pipe to the miter saw and you can cut it into these thin rings and and then I just assembled them onto uh, the canvas. This is a, a two-parter. And then uh, glued them to the canvas. You can give them some different paint treatments, tear them all the way up. This gives you some really cool looks as well. But work with what you have. You could maybe use maybe some plastic lids um, and kind of create that look as well. But it's just fun to go around, see what you have to work with, um, play off of that Christmas tree shape design, uh, tear things up, and see what you can come up with. So take any of the ideas friends and run with them we'll see you back here tomorrow have a great day everybody